so you just saw me rip apart my back and my soundboard my top my back and my top out of one board so this is going to be a hexagonal Kentucky style mountain banjo before that off camera I cut off my six side panels they look something like that this angle for a hexagon it's 30 degrees for an octagon, it's 22 and a half degrees. So you set set your miter jig however many degrees you want it. If you want it 22 and a half or you want it 30, it's got it right there for you. And then you need to clamp in each piece and make your cut. And then unclamp it, move it, clamp it again, make your second cut on each piece. So you get all those. Then you're going to wind up with a couple that are longer or shorter. I wound up with two that were a little bit shorter than the rest when you do it by hand like that, at least every time I do. So I've marked my two short ones. This is going to be the top and bottom of the banjo. Like this is where the neck is going to go, this is where the tail piece is going to go. So I have these marked and I know hence. So if I'm, I'm working with this, let's say I'm working with, with this piece right here, you'll notice that this two the four side pieces are a little bit longer than the top and bottom, so it gives kind of an oblong shape. So one short one goes up there. I know the other short one goes down here. And so the next step is you need to get all these pieces glued onto one side or another. You get them glued in place on one side. Try to do it as perfectly as you can. Hmm. So it might look something like this when it gets done. Shoot. Now, I'll have to do some final fitting here. But you see how that's going to go. Then this piece, it goes on top. Boom. Then I'm going to take a piece of oak dowel. I've got it over here. What is this? This is a piece of 5 8 inch dowel, oak dowel. So I have my, my beautiful black walnut banjo neck here. I'm going to fit this dowel into here somewhere. And then that whole thing is going to run through. The dowel is going to run completely through the banjo. And you're going to wind up, boom. That's going to be your banjo right there. It'd be pretty neat. Okay, folks, we're going to wrap up our second part of building this hexagonal Kentucky-style mountain banjo. So, as you can see, I've, I've got basically the whole banjo complete. We're just looking at the sound chamber, so it's complete. I've got it all oiled up. I've got a full spike dowel running through from the heel and the neck through the sound chamber. And I've got my two pieces of oak that I've now plane down to, well, I don't know, maybe an eighth of an inch thickness, give or take. Uh, other really important step 
is you want to bevel you want the whole banjo to be oiled and waxed and finished as if it's a complete instrument and you're just changing the head so that's what I've done here but you do want to bevel the inside of this before you mount the head that's just going to make your banjo sound a lot better and uh, maybe make it hold a little better too. So we're gonna we're gonna lay the skin on. We're gonna put some glue on and glue it on. And we're gonna have a weight on it and weigh it flat. Then we're gonna come back. We're gonna put the oak ring on and trim the excess off and tack it down. Alrighty, let's see what it looks like. I think it should be completely dry. It's been maybe 18 hours. Probably pretty good. Looks like we don't have too any bad glue problems really it's all going to be covered up so next step I've marked these so I know which way they go together so the first step I'm good we're going to glue this on and clamp it again and let that dry then we're going to remove the, the weight or, or the clamp and we're going to drive some hand carved wooden pins in here and that's that's really that's going to go through the wood and through the hide into the into the oak there that's really going to secure this thing down so anytime you're going to do glue on something like this you need a damp rag not wet but damp so soak it and wring it out you use that to wipe away excess glue
back and the hill way back in it she got killed Stab it too, ain't no telling what he might do. 